What we got here? A uh, 1936 Movicom Zeiss camera. Sweet. And where did you get this? We do clean outs for uh, different storage facilities. And for his pay for the day, this is what he wanted. OK, so uh, how old are you? 14. You know, they were still using these things when I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> the camera I'm coming in to sell today is a 1936 Zeiss movie camera. We know very little about this movie camera. But it's really cool. The appraiser that we went to said that he has never seen one of these. So no, he's only seen two. Sorry. This is really neat. So you have a Zeiss 16-millimeter camera. I looked it up some for like 20 minutes and said, I can't find nothing on it. Um, Kodak came out with 16 millimeter uh, early 1920s, and they were hoping that it would be a home movie camera. Okay, the problem was it was really damn expensive. Most people, 99 percent of people in this country couldn't afford it. But news organizations loved them because you could run around, get a news story, and you could sell it to the newsreels. Anyone who's gone to film school at one point probably used a 16 millimeter camera. It's an incredible pain to load, develop, film, and everything else, but it makes incredible images that you still, to this day, cannot get on video. Why are you selling it? We do demolition derbies, and I'm just hoping to get enough for me to buy a car. OK. You ever tried it? No. It's the most fun you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> I mean, what were you looking to get out of it? At least 800. You know, you, you got a really interesting camera here. Everything's in great shape. Looks like it was barely used. But the problem is they just don't go for that much money because there's so many of them out there. I mean, you know, once the video came out, all these things threw on a shelf. Well, we, uh, we went to an appraiser for it, and he said he has only seen two. And he said the first one he saw was looked like it had got hit by a truck, and it was $250. OK, well, see, this is one of the things about this world, OK? People can ask for money all day long. That's whether they get it or not. And uh, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. Nah, we better do a little better than that. I think $100. It's really insulting. Bottom dollar will be 400 No. Unfortunately, it's not here. No one uses these anymore. I am being a nice guy offering 100 bucks because it will sit around for a very long time. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. OK. Well, thanks for coming in, though, man. I'm going to take the camera home and probably put it on a shelf and wait 20 years. Not a big deal. He'll hustle something else. <laughs> <laughs>